I named it simply so Wanna she has a dynamic story to tell. So Wanna, how you feel, sweetheart? I know I know it's kind of late on your end, but nevertheless, we are here to uh, celebrate you on tonight. I am good. How are you? I'm I'm fighting a good fight and I'm winning. It's a blessing to be on top of the <laughs> ground and not be on top of me. So I'm elated again to have you know your part. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have you a part of the Jonas Q Radio Show. For those that don't know you, uh, can you give a brief in- introduction about yourself and how you got started in the gospel music industry? Okay. Um, well, I am, of course, a mother, a wife. Uh, I've been singing for since I was about four years old. Um, I've been singing with this particular ministry for about 25 years. We actually celebrated 25 years in July. And this group originated, uh, started off a family group. And uh, of course, it, you know, the kids, some of the kids got older and they, you know, decided that this is just not what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, But thank God they had already put a lot of years in it to lay the foundation. Uh, So we, you know, then kind of started pulling other family members in or people that's close like family. So that's pretty much sums it up like who I am. I'm I'm um, also a cosmetologist, a salon owner for, oh, my God, 30 plus years. So, yeah, that that kind of sums it all up. Well, that, and that sums it up and enough. You have uh, always been, I call you a jewel in the gospel music industry. As far as quartet goes, you are you have been noted as one of the prolific songwriters uh, when it comes to your pen with Nobody's Fault. Uh, of course, When It's All Over, uh, the other song, the slow, the slow Ballad. Talk about thank you, Jesus. I'm thinking yeah. about huh? Say it again. Oh, Lord, I want to Lord, say I thank you. you. Lord, That's I want to one. say thank you. That's the, yes, so you've been God. a prolific songwriter. Yeah. The Lord has yeah. anointed your pen. So I'm I'm sure uh we're gonna talk about the uh the new stuff that you have getting ready to come out. Um the song that we're gonna play today. Mm-hmm. I, is it the first time it's being played on radio or radio has already been servicing? It is. Okay. Well, actually, um the the my producer, he actually aired it on his radio show on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you are probably one of the first ones to actually get to do a sneak peek on this. So <laughs> we're excited. <laughs> and I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Who are the current members of Sawana Bi- Sawana Springfield and the Children of God? I, I'm so I, used I to know saying by I, I know, I know, I know. We we yeah. know we, we get that a lot. Um <laughs> my husband at the back yelling something. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um but yeah, we um the, the current members, of course, y'all know my ride or die is my son, mm-hmm. you know, the one that's seen the soprano. He's been with me. I think he's probably the only one out of the group that have never quit or been, quote, unquote, put out. Um, so it, uh, it's him. And then I have two. Well, actually, uh, one of my like God nieces from uh, Columbus, Ohio, uh, her mm-hmm. name is Marquita Loud. She's actually Sean Jones. Um uh, Pastor Sean Jones, that's his first cousin. Okay. Um, and so um, we also have a young lady out of Louisville, Kentucky. Her name is C- Cynthia Maxwell. And she also has a group, another group that she was already singing with. But when my group kind of did some transition and I reached out and grabbed her. So she's been a part, been very faithful, very diligent. Um, and then I have a young lady out of Detroit, Michigan, by the name of Tamira Daniels. Um, and so we just kind of a little bit here and there. And then my musicians are, of course, my son, as, as well as my p- producer. He produced this song. Uh, y'all know he's my keyboardist. He, he actually you, you met him before. I he met was him, just right. really, uh-huh. you know, um, you know, just you know how he is. He's just all that. And then mm-hmm. some. And so um, and then I have a young man that my drummer, he's from uh, Rochester, New York. Mm-hmm. And my bass player is from Columbus, Ohio. So that can, that makes up our whole team. Okay. All right. Well, and you all are doing a, di- a dynamic job. I think the last time I heard you all live, I think it was in, was it Dallas? Dallas. No, the last time Dallas, I heard you Texas. all, and, and God moved like never before. I, I'm talking about, even though I was late <laughs> due to other circumstances, but when, when God showed up, when I got there, I promise you, the ministry that you all carry, the anointing that you carry, I, it, there wasn't a dry eye, a dry eye in the room. People, it was pandemonium mm-hmm. all over the room. So I thank you for being a vessel. The jewel of quartet is what I'm going to call you because you've been around a Amen. long time doing the very same thing, and that's lifting up the name of Jesus. And uh, we're getting ready to uh, 
I want you to inter- not really introduce what inspired. I know you have a lot of stories to tell, and uh, I was on your live, I think, this past weekend about the current situation that you were going through as far as you losing your sister. I won't say you're losing your sister because you don't, when you lose some, you know, in that type of form, you know where they are. So you, you, the passing of your sister, and not long after that, your nephew made a transition. So give us uh, a little detail about what inspired this song, the, the new single. Yes. So this song was birthed, like you said, you know, through what I call one of the darkest times in my life. Um, my sister died two years ago, um, May. Well, this May coming up next year will be three years. And it was a sudden death. We wasn't expecting it. Um, I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that moment. And, you know, it really took me in a very, very dark place. Like, I mean, a place where literally for days and months, I literally begged God to let me die. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't want to live. I, I literally just like, I didn't want to live. And I mean, daily I would ask him, I mean, when he would wake me up in the morning, I would literally get angry with him because he did not, you know, you know, give me my request. And that is to let me die in my sleep or just let me die, period. And um, I went through that, like I said, for months and months and months. I had just given up on life. Um, but I thank God for people praying and I thank God for just, you know, uh, when, and, until your work is complete, God, he, he will cause us things to continue to manifest. And, um, although, you know, I, I, like you said, you heard the story and we're going to go in, we won't go like in depth, but you know, it really, uh, through this, I didn't understand that a song would come out of it because literally he only whispered one night. I just knew he was had answered my prayer or getting ready to answer my prayer. Mm-hmm. I felt like I was about to have a nervous breakdown, whatever that feel like, you know, I remember mm-hmm. laying in the bed, I was, you know, stretching and, you know, and it just, just, oh, I mean, it just felt like bugs was all on me. And I, I was just like, God, thank you, Jesus. Like, this is the night, you know, I was kind of anticipating and a little nervous because I didn't know what death was going to feel like. But on the flip side, I was excited because I just really knew that he was getting ready to answer my prayer. But that particular night, I believe was the night that I didn't die, but I came alive. The Lord began to, um, kind of rock me to sleep you know as he like hum me a lullaby and i remember telling people i said man have god ever sung you a lullaby and I, sometimes people would look at me like i was crazy but really that's what it felt like like somebody wrapping me in their arm right. and literally just rocking me to sleep but prior to that he whispered two words to me and that was push and promise i did not know at the time that that was going to be the birthing of this song however you know um those two words when i woke up that morning the next morning i remember feeling so rejuvenated you know and it was like i just had a burst of energy and i began to change my language and i kept saying i'm not i went from lord let me die till i'm not going to die in this Mm -hmm. and i was like i'm not going to die in this and i could just hear those words push and promise and and you know and i and i like to match those up with faith and works because if you don't have don't put the faith with the works, then guess what? It's one of them going to be null and void. You know what I mean? So we have to have both. And so that morning, I remember just, it felt like as if I had been asleep for like a long time because I was so energetic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. As I stated, the the pain was still there. However, you know, I felt as though I could, I could live, you know, I could feel like I could just push on through, you know, the circumstances. So I I remember just saying, okay, I'm not going to die in this. I'm not going to die in this. And then every time I would come look like to a a dark place, I would whisper those, those words that he whispered to me. And I would say, push and promise, push and promise. And then when I would encounter other people that was going through a dark time, I would just give them those words and i will sometimes share my testimony push and promise because put we got the push to get right. to the promise right That's one thing for sure god ain't never left us never. and then only and right when i began to feel like i was just about there oh god hmm. yes come on then another tragic came eight months right after we buried my sister her only child are you hearing me wow. her only child was gunned down in broad daylight we're still fighting for justice I remember I was in Dallas. I was in 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 uh, a little town called um, where what's that group from? Never sold to Texas. I was down in there, and and got the phone call that my my nephew was killed. Mind you, he don't have a mother. He don't have a father. It, he he was the only child, so it was just the three. The, the father was already deceased. Wow. The mother had died. The dog died six days after my sister, and mm-hmm. then my nephew got gunned down in broad daylight. Wow. So I had to get home, and I had to go through that whole process again. And I remember going. I remember saying, "Lord, here I go again." And I was like, "Let me, 
and I just paused. And I'm, I was getting ready to say, just let me die. And I said, let me, I'm not going to die in this. And I began to encourage myself daily, like, I'm not going to die in this. I got to live through it because I know that there's a there's a promise that awaits me. Right. And I'm telling y'all, Janice, you know, I've been like you said, I've been out here a long time, but I am now pushing for right. everything that the enemy tried to destroy mm -hmm. me with. And that's why I refuse to compromise salvation to the to the nation. Right. This song, it may not be for everybody, but this song is going to save many lives. It is going to save many lives, most definitely. And your story, your testimony itself, and I, uh, it, it's powerful within itself. And I'm, and I'm ho hoping that it's inspiring somebody to keep on pushing, to keep on pushing to the promise. Uh, I shared something with you uh, in Dallas. There's a promise all over your whole ministry. And, and if you stop, and if God had taken, well, if the devil had taken you out, there was the, the promise of God wouldn't be fulfilled in what you got going on. So you still have to keep pushing this doggone thing. Keep moving on me. But nevertheless, I'm still going to do this interview. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. Nevertheless, can you see me? Can you hear me? Never. Y'all just can keep. See you. I okay. Can see you. Okay. Y'all just you just keep pushing to the promise. Because nevertheless, that God has something greater in store just for Sawana Buyers and the children of God. So again, stay encouraged. I, I still got that song for you. Whenever whenever I do do okay. some pre-production on it, I got to get it to you. I don't, okay. I'm, not, I'm not a singer per se, but I got to do the pre-production. I promise you, it's gonna fit into what you got going on with this particular song. Uh, my next wow. question to you is. Uh, what can what inspiration can you give to young uh, young artists, the young female quartet artists that want to branch off into the industry? Well, I don't want to use the word quartet. We use that word so so much, and that's the style of music. But we're still rendering service to Jesus. It's the gospel. So what could, what inspiration can you give to go in upcoming gospel female? And you, we do the the gospel industry as a whole, up and coming artists. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so one thing that I would like to say to people is that, you know, especially the younger generation, because we are in a time now where this new generation, nothing really, it's almost like nothing matters. Mm -hmm. But I would say, don't, you know, gain the world, you know, and lose your soul. You know, don't compromise who God have called you to be. And if you don't know whom he have called you to be, get a relationship with him outside of doing a quote unquote gig, mm -hmm. you know, get a relationship with him that carry you through the week because, you know, worshiping is a lifestyle. And we and right. he said they that they that uh, worship me was must worship me in spirit and truth. truth. Right. And so we got to make sure that we're walking out the truth of the Holy Ghost in order to be able to sustain position. Because let me tell you something. Our character is so important. And so we can't compromise our character. What I mean by that, you ain't got no business out here home and trying to, you know, to get on a platform because it won't keep right. you there. Right. You don't have no business drinking, trying to, you know, get on a platform form because again it won't keep you there holiness is right, right. and everybody else is wrong right. and that's just what we got to get to we got to get to a place where you do not compromise who god have called you to be to get a get a position because guess what it will not last exactly. only what you do for christ will last and i tell people all the time people may not want to hear me because it seemed as though once i began to walk away from what was wrong you know, people didn't want to hear the truth. And so a lot of times we wasn't a hot commodity. But I told the Lord, before I go out and be wrong, I'll stay at home and be right. Right. All right. And that's power within itself, one. I promise you it is. That's definitely powerful. I I love to hear you talk because you, you're such an inspiration and I love it. I'm so glad that I'm able to have you right here on Q Talk. For those that are on, uh, let's show Shawana some love. Let's show a lot of hearts. I'm sure she's watching from another side. Can you see what's going Can you see the oh, comments, Shawana? Okay. <laughs> I haven't even been watching. I haven't been watching it at all. I've just been on here trying to, yeah. you know, just, man, I, I'm really trying to fight back tears and I'm really excited. I'm Jonas, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. You know, this place that the Lord had me in right now, I'm so excited because, you know, I really never thought, you know, how see, you know, see, life is, it's, it's amazing to me and mm -hmm. seasons change. And, you know, just like seasons change, you have to dress accordingly or right. either you'll be, you know, you won't be equipped for whatever season you're in. Right. And so I'm just so grateful that I did. Not only did I not die, but I didn't lose my mind in it because there are some people that's living, but you mm. don't even know who you are. Come but I'm now. just so grateful that I'm, I'm in a place now. Not only do I know who I am, I can dress myself. I can feed myself. 
myself. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. I can I, I can I have the ability to be able to do everything that God has predestined for me yes. to do. And guess what? Yes. I'm gonna do it with everything yes. in me, and I won't compromise. That's what I'm talking about. You see, again, see, see what I'm saying? That inspiration, it just comes, it just flows. That's that's that Holy Ghost. See, when, when a lot of us talk about talk about the Holy Ghost power, do we really have the Holy Ghost. That woman got it. And that and that's why the industry is intimidated because she got it. The enemy don't want to see the, 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 the people of God come up in this type of form and telling the truth. So hey, I thank God for you and your and your ministry and the entire group. We get ready to play the song right now and we're gonna come back with Sawana by Sawana Springfield and the Children of God. I keep messing it up, but it's nevertheless we're still here to uh pay tribute to this. We're gonna play this song and let me know how y'all feel about about the show of hearts. We got Lisa Noel Smith on. We have Harvey Watkins hey. Jr. on. A multi a multiplicity of uh, great people on. Your management is on from the record company, so a lot of people is on. Adri Adrian Bryan is on again. A lot of people that is on today. Shirley A. Jackson is on. So listen here, but this is the new music from Sawana and the Children of God, and this song is entitled Push to get to the promise and I'll be back right after this with Sawana Springfield. I remember laying down. I had so many tears. I think it cut off on my tears end. I'm, I'm finna start it back. I think it cut off. It was on my end. I'm finna start it back.
Botswana. Push. That's all, that's all I need you to do is continue to push. Golly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's... <laughs> listen here. If that don't inspire you, I don't know what will. I want that. That's my prayer. I want everybody, all of us, to push to get to the promise. Whatever, whatever the enemy may have, enemy may have thrown your way. Listen here, still push. He don't. You know, you resist him. If you keep calling on the name of Jesus, you just keep pushing to the promise. Hey, Tawana, thank you. I told you your pen, your pen, your pen got some fire on it. You hear me? Yes. Keep pushing. You keep pushing. You keep pushing, yeah. I, and I think that's so. One, I, I I don't just say what what hits are. I just don't. I just something I don't do. But me listening to mainstream, so called mainstream radio, that's mainstream radio. And I wow. and I'm and I'm sure, and and I've been in radio four years, but I know what Hallelujah FM plays. I know what Rejoice and all that other stuff plays. That's what they play. Mm-hmm. This the wow. pen. This the song that. Oh God! October, October second is is the official release date on this song. I I want everybody that's on right now. It got up to a hundred people, but they'll go back to watch it after after this is over with. Go be a blessing to the music ministry of Sawana Sawana Springfield and the Children of God. Can y'all do that for me? Go be a blessing to it. Will there be any hard copies available? Yes, it will. Okay, okay. You know, because I I you know like some of the older people, they just they. They don't know about no digital outlet, so we're gonna have some hard copies, and, you know, just to make mm. sure that. And I mean, don't get me wrong, some of us young people, mm. I, I, you know, my daughter had to get me set up here tonight. You know, we just mm. not, you know, technology is uh, savvy, so, mm. um, you know, it, yeah, we'll have hard copies, and I pray you guys get it, and not only just for yourself. If you know somebody, a young lady, young man, struggling, and 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 just want to give up, you you, th- th- this song is prophetic. Right. You know, it ain't. It, I, I pray we want to just thank Ray Br- Braswell for coming in and helping with the mixing and mastering, and mm-hmm. you know, just everybody. You know, Pastor Todd Mc, Mc um, say it, baby, McClellan. I, I call him. I just be like Pastor Mac. He has been tremendous blessing to us. Everybody, you Jonas, I'll never forget that word you sold into our life. You know, that day um, when we were in Texas, because that was after that. You was you was shortly after my sister had passed, actually. Wow. And um, I was, you know, that was, I think that might have been like my first time singing after that happened. And so you was catching me in the come up mode, you know. But, but you, worked so, that, uh, you, you worked so bad that night, though. I, I still got the video. <laughs> I was going to upload it tonight, but I, my t- time was, was wouldn't, wouldn't allow me to upload it. Mm-hmm. Y'all worked so bad that night in a good way. Y'all worked mm-hmm. from the first song on up until... They had to push y'all off the stage. <laughs> they came and just pushed y'all off the stage because God has showed up. And I think if, if you had if you had just went one more round, if you just went more round, mm-hmm. that place would have went in in ballistic mode. But I thank you for your music ministry. You have been again, you have been an inspiration to us all. Keep on sharing your testimony. Uh even though if you get full sometime, keep keep shedding the light because a lot of people that go through, you could be that very testimony that, that another young person needs. Uh, my my last question to you is: What can we expect from Sawana Springfield and the Children of God? Um, again, we have this particular night, this song. We wanted to release this first um, because I believe it is a now season for this song. But we actually did a a, a live, you know, recording that night, uh, July the, on on my twenty fifth anniversary. Although, okay. you know, we was doing you know operating during the pandemic. But it was it was really one of the best anniversaries I had ever had. So we're going to be releasing a whole new album. So you guys uh, stay tuned. And, and every song has a message. Um, you know, one of my favorites, uh, I've been through the storm and the rain. Lord, I want to say thank you. That is one of my favorite songs because mm-hmm. truly I made it. You know, and right. I know when people look at that, they ain't got to do no house, no car, mm-hmm. none of it. Right. I made it with my right man, my right, right. good man. Right. So, you know, uh, just stay on the lookout for that. Um, also going to be working on a documentary, you know, just a jer- my my life journey, which consists of, you know, the children of God, you know, how, you know, just kind of from where we started to where we are now. We're going to be doing a documentary. That's just a, 
a big desire of mine. So we're going to be working on that real soon here. So look out for that as well. And, you know, I'm always doing ministry as far as like the damaged goods conference that I do every year. I'm all about empowering, empowering women you know, uh, and children, but, you know, my heart goes out to women because I've been that broken woman. Mm -hmm. I've been that woman trying to do ministry, but from a broken place, you know, and so I'm all about seeing people heal for real, for real, and quit faking the phone. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So, Juana, I have enjoyed you being here today. Uh, Listen to y'all again, October, this Friday, October 2nd. This Friday. This yes. Friday, go be a blessing to the music ministry of Sawana Springfield and the children of God. <laughs> Push to get to the promise. I'm so stuck on it. I'm telling you, I'm stuck on it. <laughs> tell your husband, give me a pass. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please tell him to give me a pass. But listen here, y'all. I thank you, you again. You okay. <laughs> I thank you again for being a part of Q Talk. And then whenever you decide to come back to the Jonas Q Radio Show, Q Talk, I called it Q Talk. Lisa No Smith was my first uh was my first guest and i called it q talk and a lot of people say well what is q talk well th- i've been going by jonas q so long and a lot of people thought that quartet was my middle name but no i have a middle name which is quintara so therefore so the q okay. stands for quintara so so i thank you for being a okay. part of of q talk right here on the jonas q radio show and again on tomorrow i'm going to feature the song again tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m and i'm going to share this with y'all too uh since we're on Sawana is going to also be on in alabama on tomorrow on a tv network that i'm getting ready to start on tomorrow so you all got first dibs on that too uh let me get okay. yeah let me get to the inbox anthony clark from the clark brothers you all some of you may know him he has a TV network mm-hmm. down in uh, Tuskegee, Alabama, and also the Montgomery, Alabama area. Uh, it's called the True Word Network. And, uh, hey, so want to buy Springfield we're, and the Children of God will be a part of that network. There I go again. We'll be a part of <laughs> <laughs> uh, the True Word Network in uh, Montgomery and Tuskegee, Alabama. So, hey, God is in large territory. For me, and he's going to enlarge territory for you. He's already doing it because I can see it. I can see the glory of God and the glow all over your face. Thank you so much again for being a part of Q Talk. Y'all, we're going to call. Thank you so much. Thank Uh you for this opportunity. We really, 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 truly from my heart appreciate you. Thank you for giving me a chance. You you can have a whenever you decide to come back when the record <laughs> drop if you want to do a, a a listening party experience right here on Q Talk we can do that as well whatever you want to do we'll make it happen okay all right thank okay, you okay one more thing if they want to book you and I know we're in, we're in the pandemic right now you probably you, yeah you've been working since this pandemic Let me, yeah you've been oh, working. I'm ready I'm ready I'm so <laughs> all behind that it ain't gonna Corona ain't about to touch me baby I'm I'm ooh, I'm ready <laughs> yeah, I'm it, ready but you know we got to have that spirit that discernment but if right. you want to book me you can uh, contact Jerry Mickens. Uh, y'all know uh, that's that's you know she's been booking for me for years uh, and her number is five one three seven two eight five two zero five you know you can uh, contact oh shoot. Okay, let me do that over. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank y'all for being in the room. 513 <laughs> I gave y'all my number. Don't call me. <laughs> don't call. Please don't call me. I'm going to give you two numbers. I was, I was trying to multitask. So you call Jerry Mickens at 513-349-2050. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay? That's Jerry Mickens. Or you can reach <laughs> Pastor Todd Mc- Kellen at 217-706-1402. You can reach one of the two. That number again is 217-706-1402 or you can email us or reach out to us on Facebook. But you can reach us through those two individuals to be able to book us and we would love to come and bless your city. Okay. Oh, 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 so the Black said that's your number. (laughs) So the Black said that. (laughs) <laughs> but, who said that so the black? <laughs> no y'all call y'all call yeah. jerry please yeah. call jerry okay well so one again i thank you so much for being a part of q talk i'm it, it just it's so nice i believe i got to do it twice this is this is new gospel music from sawana springfield and the children of god with push to get to the promise until tomorrow morning at 8 30 may the lord god bless you may he keep you and may his grace and his peace abide with you all day again so want to thank you so much for being a part of q talk today thank you all right love much, you big. much love to you bye-bye